Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Sleeping Dogs, the definitive edition running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now the game is currently running at 1080p with the lowest graphics settings. And this is of course the 5500U paired with 16 gigabytes of dual channel memory running at 3200 megahertz. And everything is being recorded on a separate system with a capture card. So it's not affecting the gaming performance whatsoever. Now the game running at the full 1080p resolution with the lowest graphics settings, which in the menu, most of the time, it's just going to say normal, but that is the lowest you can go this level of performance that we're getting is decent enough it's not a 60 fps gaming experience but there isn't a huge amount of fluctuation in the fps it's relatively consistent we're getting an average of 51 right now and the one percent lows are in the 40 range even in relatively action heavy scenes where you're having a lot of fighting going on there's really not going to be any major dips or anything like that while playing the game so while you're not getting an, a high fps gaming experience it's not too far off from the 60 fps average that you would get on the display on here anyway and this laptop actually does support free sync so as long as you you know enable v-sync and kind of just leave it within the ranges where it's at right now you're not going to get any screen tearing or anything like that and it's actually going to feel like a relatively smooth experience and of course this is the definitive edition so it does have a few graphical enhancements over the original version so if you guys would like me to actually test out the original because i know there's a lot of people that do own that i can also test that because i do own it but the definitive edition here you can see performs Forms relatively all right we are dipping a little bit into the 30 fps range with, with the one percent lows but it's 38 so it's not too far off from the 40 and we're still keeping a 51 fps average most of the time we're not really going past 51 a lot of the times but we are at least getting that consistency and that's about really as much as you can ask for in this situation besides having to drop down the resolution which if you drop things down to 900p then you can actually salvage a bit of performance and you will be closer to that 60 fps average just with a little bit more blurriness personally i had no issues playing the game like this i didn't really feel like i was running into any noticeable issues that would prevent me from continuing to play the game on here so it's one of those things where if you're into the game you can definitely get away with playing it on here and you're not really going to feel like you're missing out on the gaming experience of it i mean graphically speaking it doesn't look too bad to me honestly it actually looks pretty solid i really can't complain about the graphical quality that we're getting here so realistically speaking this is about as good as it's going to get you're getting relatively good performance and visually speaking you're not really losing out on anything major like you, you could just see the reflections on the ground the shadows to everything are still detailed and this is again with everything in the graphic settings turned off or to the lowest that they would go so this game is definitely a win running on this chip and this is definitely one of those games that i just recommend to people to play it's definitely one of those games where you're going to find yourself having a lot of fun and probably a hard time putting it down i know i did at least but anyways i hope you guys found this video useful if you did be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.